Do you know what a nightmare is? The mare part refers to an evil spirit that would sit on your chest, drain the life out of you, and suffocate you in your sleep. This was an incubus. And the word nightmare is a great example of how monsters can be used to describe horrific concepts. For example, in Ukrainian, the same mare suffix and spirit is added to the word for hunger, holod, to create the word holodomor, which is the Ukrainian genocide through forced starvation. However, holod also means hunger, cold, and shade. And from a Ukrainian indigenous worldview, it can be said that the experience of hunger is generated by a blockage from the earth in the same way that the experience of cold is generated by a blockage from the sun as shade. I think that by thinking of hunger as an evil spirit that exhausts us to death as we are blocked from our relationship with the land we eat from, we can understand the emotional weight of what hunger is. And this kind of hunger has always been with us. Before the pandemic, 10% of Albertans experienced food insecurity, 54% if you were indigenous, and hunger has only grown with COVID-19. In Edmonton, there was a constellation of more than 250 not-for-profit organizations that provided food supports, all of which competed for the same pool of food donations, funding sources, and clients. Wild West style. But now something new is happening. With increased federal funding during the pandemic for food security, the City of Edmonton has organized a table for collaboration and coordination. My research has engaged stakeholders across the sector, used their stories to create models of what addressing food security in Edmonton looks like, and proposes that this table has a lot more potential than just a COVID-19 response. By building a shared understanding through collaborating at the table, the sector might build a much higher capacity to take advantage of existing food structures, integrate services into each other, collect data, and advocate for things like funding security, supporting policy, and more holistic responses to hunger than emergency food provision. What my research hopes to accomplish is to lend some academic support to those working together to better address the nightmare of hunger in Edmonton.